so today's video is going to be a Maleficent inspired makeup look for the Disney sequel that came out recently a couple weeks back. So I'm finally able to go see the movie. I'm going with one of my friends tonight and I'm going to be doing a Disney inspired makeup look for the movie. So I'm going to just set down the primer that I already set down before I started filming because um, I wanted to make sure it just had a little bit of time to set in before I set it. And now I'm going to jump into the eyes. So I'm wearing my Maleficent Hot Topic shirt. And I'm basically going to be doing a look that is inspired by this. So for most of the eyeshadow look, I'm going to be jumping into the ColourPop So Jaded Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I've done so many looks with this palette on my channel, but I'm like really excited to use it today because I really wanted to use it for just seeing the movie. And I will be dipping into some of the new Disney palette that I bought from ColourPop, the Midnight Masquerade palette. I could grab it. I'm going to be dipping into this for the lower lash line. So I'm not going to be using it right now for the main focus of the look. I'm going to be using the So Jaded palette. So yeah, let's stop rambling and let's get into this makeup look. Sorry, I just burped. Um, so I've been spending most of the day like cleaning, not really doing much. So this was the main event that I had to do today. So I'm going to be jumping into some of the shades on the bottom here. I'm mostly just going to be using some of the greens and the main focus of this look is going to be this amethyst shade. Um, I've been dying to play with it and use it again all over the lid. I have not had a chance to because I've been using and playing with so many other eyeshadows um, recently. So I'm really excited to do a colorful look with this palette today. So I'm just going to grab my eyeshadow brush and let's jump into it. So for my crease shade, I'm just going to jump into the shade Geodude right here. It's a really easy green shade to use. Really olive tone, and I think it's going to be perfect to just throw in the crease as a base shade. So I'm just going to use that. And it's not like too green. It's more like just kind of a base shade for the other colors we're going to put on. I mean, I'm really not going to do too much in my crease. I just really just want to focus on the lid shade. But for now, I think this is a good shade to start with. So I'm just going to use that and work it back and forth. So have you guys seen the movie yet? I'm really excited to go see it. As you guys know, Sleeping Beauty is my favorite Disney princess, so I was super excited to see the sequel. This is the first sequel that they've come out with since um, Snow White and the Huntsman. They haven't done any other sequels for any of the other live action films because all the other ones were standalones like um, Lion King, Jungle Book, Cinderella, etc. And of course I've seen all of them and I did um, a bunch of Disney inspired looks for each film. Um, the last one that I did was the one for when I went to see Aladdin. I used a bunch of the Aladdin products from MAC when they came out with their collection and I also used the It's a Princess Thing palette because they had a couple of jasmine shades in there as well so I used that too. So, that's it for the crease for now. Now I'm going to jump into the defining shade. So for that, I'm going to take the shade Jade, which is this really beautiful matte green, and it's kind of picking up the colors of like the green smoke, which is her signature. Um, well, the green fire, but this um, shirt has like a green background. So I want to kind of echo that with um, the jade shade, so I'm going to use that as my defining shade. If I can't speak, I'm sorry. I'm still kind of tired today. Um, I didn't sleep that great last night, so bear with me. Um, it is kind of a really super gloomy day recently, so yeah. So I'm just going to pop that in my crease. I actually felt pretty good yesterday after filming, like I wasn't that tired. Then last night, I really, like, had trouble sleeping again, so. Alright, so I'm just going to buff that a little bit more. I need a little bit more green, like right here. 
So, you know, again, Maleficent's signature colors are green and purple, so I mostly wanted to use those colors out of this palette, so that's why I thought the matte greens and the purple shimmer on the lid were perfect. And again, I haven't been able to use amethyst all over the lid, like, at all. The only time I used it was when I did that super colorful look in the three looks one palette video so I haven't really been able to just wear it by itself yet because I've been using like all the other shades in here like a ton so um now I can finally use it I don't really wear color too often but when I do like you know I like to wear colors that I haven't worn yet it's nice to give them a little bit of a moment so that is it for that and now for the outer corners I'm going to take a little bit of the black, which is the onyx shade right here, and I really want to use that to um, darken up the outer corners. I'm not going to take too much. Okay, I took a lot, but whatever. I'm going to use that to um, deepen up the outer corners. It's a really beautiful shimmery black. And that's why I like using it, because it's not like a matte black. I like how it adds a little bit of a glow. So if you guys watched my Nothing Under 10 video, this is actually the day after that, but um, this video won't be going up till like a week after that video has been up or was posted because I'm actually filming this on the day that I posted that video. Um, but I have like a couple of other videos to post before I actually post this one. Um, but it'll be up by next week. Obviously, you guys will see it then. But, um, I was actually supposed to work tonight, and then I actually got my coworker to cover my shift tonight just so I could go see the movie with Becca. So, it kind of worked out. Okay, so now I kind of want to add a little bit more of the jade shade, because I feel like I already lost some of it. I don't know why, um, but hopefully we can get that to be, um, a little bit darker again. Also, my boyfriend was supposed to work today, but I still haven't heard from him today yet. And it's like 4.50. I haven't heard from him since like last night at like midnight. So I'm just a little concerned. He probably just spent the day sleeping. So it's all right. So that definitely showed up a little bit more after applying a little bit more. And then I'm going to put a little bit more of the black again just right here. Just like that yet. All right, so I want it to be as, like, deep and green, smoky vibes as I can get it. Okay. And now for the main color that I've been talking about this whole video. So I'm just going to apply my NYX Glitter Glue. I'm going to skip my face makeup just so I'm not, like, sitting here forever. Because I want you guys to see, like, the themed products that I'm using for my face, so I'm gonna skip my face makeup, like my foundation and concealer and everything, just so we can jump into those products sooner. Cause, you know, I've been trying to make my videos shorter so people aren't here like forever, so I've been trying to shorten them down for like to like a half hour rather than like 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid. Okay. I feel like I need a little bit more just because I really want that color to show. I was also kind of thinking about using the shade Emerald too, but I don't want to make it too crazy. I just want to make the purple stand out all over the lid. I'll see. Well, most likely I'm just going to use that one because I've been able to use Emerald quite a bit as well. Um, not as much as Amethyst. So yeah. Now we're going to dip into the beautiful shimmery shade. Um, the shimmery purple, and I'm so excited. So I'm going to take amethyst and put it all over my finger, and then I'm going to apply that to my lid. Ooh. Literally so pretty. I think I might have to use my other finger that I didn't use for the glitter glue, because sometimes if you use the finger that you use the glitter glue, it kind of like sticks to your finger a little bit and doesn't like transfer the pigment as much. 
I mean, that's just for from my experience, but look at that purple. It's so pretty. So glad I used that. All right, so I'm going to take it, I think, on the majority of my lid. I might take a little bit of a different color just on, like, literally, like, the inner part. But I definitely wanted to use that on most of my lid. And I'm going to take it on the other side. I feel like for each lid, like, you have to use a different finger in order for it to build up the way you want it to. Because I feel like sometimes it, like, doesn't build up properly. Sometimes the glitter glue, like, sits a little bit funny. But I want to make sure it's as pigmented as possible. I mean, it's funny that I go through all of this just to see a movie because I'm literally going to be sitting in darkness. But I don't really get to do colorful looks or themed looks too often anymore, especially when you get older. Like, I don't wear colors like this every day. So when I have the opportunity to, I like going all out. So, all right. And then for the, like, most inner part of my eye, I think I'm going to take the shade Fluorite because I haven't been able to use this shade as much either. And I'm just going to touch that on the inner parts if I can get it to be pigmented enough. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to take it a little bit further in. Do I like that? I just need a little bit more on that part. Yeah, I do. It's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. So we'll take that on the other side as well. Alright, so I didn't use amethyst all over the lid, but as long as I use it, then we're good. It's not really as pigmented on this side. Maybe I'll take the other finger and see if it works better. Of course it does. It's so weird that that makes a difference. Okay, I need to try and get this to be more pigmented. It's not really showing up. Right, I guess that's better. I feel like it looks better on the other eye. Yeah, I just had to layer it up more. That looks better. And now I'm just going to take a little bit more of amethyst and make sure that's like at the intensity that I want it to be. Because I don't want to lose that shade. Right, that looks really pretty okay and then for the brow bone I'm just gonna take the shade my precious obviously I always use this for the brow bone when I use this palette and I'm going to pop that on my brow bone if I don't get eyeshadow all over my fingers So if you guys have seen the movie yet, you can definitely comment on what you thought. Just don't spoil it. Don't spoil it for anybody in the comments if no one's seen it yet. Or certain people haven't seen it yet. But I would have seen it already. It, you wouldn't be spoiling anything for me, but please don't spoil it for other people. But at the same time, I mean, this is a whole new story. So this, this one you could potentially spoil for somebody. So just be careful. Alright, so now I'm just going to wipe off some of that black with my color switch and then I'm going to go back in with that jade shade one more time just to get it to be a little bit more pigmented. Pigmented, if I could speak today. I do find it kind of muddies up a little bit and it's not really as green anymore, but it's okay. 
I still like the vibe that it's creating. And then I'm going to just take the black one more time and put that on the outer part. Just like that. I am home alone right now. Um, I have to run a couple of errands before I see the movie too, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. Alright, so that is it for the eyes for now. I really like how they turned out. And now I'm going to go do my face and then we'll come back and do the lower lash line. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did my primer and foundation, concealer, and all that jazz. I just kind of feel like my face feels a little dry, so I'm just going to spray my face too. Okay, so for my foundation and everything, I used my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Um, I did prime my, uh, set, uh, prep my face before that and use my NYX primer spray. Um, and then I went in with e.l.f. primer like I always do. And then for my foundation, I used the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Warm Porcelain 01. Um, I am trying to use up this foundation um, as like my second foundation from the drugstore that I've ever used up. Um, and then for my concealer, I use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I love this concealer in the shade uh, Porcelain 320. And then I set my under eyes with the Thrive Cosmetics um, setting powder, which I always do in the translucent matte. So that is it for my face right now. I know I look pretty pale right now, but in person, I don't look as pale. So, okay, so now we're going to jump into the lower lash line. And we're going to use the Midnight Masquerade palette for that. Um, I might go in and apply a little bit more eyeshadow on the top. Because I kind of feel like the purple shade is transferring, of course. Um, so now I'm going to go in with this palette. And I'm going to use the shade Spinning Wheel, which is right here, of course. We have to use something from this palette because there are a couple of Sleeping Beauty inspired shades in this palette. So I'm going to take that and put that all over the inner corners. I was very tempted to use Peridot but from the So Jaded palette, but I'm like, no, I got to use this guy. I've been using this shade basically as my inner corner shade a ton. I haven't been able to use it as much on the lid as I would like to. I mean, if I didn't have to use amethyst today, I would have totally used this all over the lid, but yeah. I just feel like my inner corners are kind of dry lately, so I feel like they haven't been picking up eyeshadow as well as I would like to. That looks really pretty, though. It's like a really pretty duochrome white shade. I love it. It has like a pink shift to it. It's so pretty. I have like a shade from Makeup Geek that's like similar. I believe it's called Rockstar. It's like one of the duochromes from Makeup Geek. It's such a pretty shade too. Wow, I kind of miss like a little bit of my nose area with my foundation. So we kind of have to uh, pat some in over here. Wow, that got fixed in like two seconds so that was easy okay I think I'm gonna take a little bit of my finger just so I can build up the shade a little bit more sometimes this is the most frustrating part of my makeup is when my inner corner is not as popping as I would like it to be I'll probably go in even more with my finger and make sure I can get that to be a lot shinier, which I think I can. All right, that's better. I like that more. Okay, so, and then for the lower lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of the blue from the Midnight Masquerade palette, which is called Meriwether, which is obviously one of the fairies from... Sleeping Beauty. So I'm going to take that, put that on my lower lash line. I'm not going to take too much, but I know it's a really pretty blue shade, so I'm going to try and not go too crazy, but I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit more here. Yeah, that's really pretty. 
definitely goes with some of the shades in this um, shirt as well. And I'm going to take it on this side. Sorry, I just don't know why, like, my face is, like, a bit dry lately. I probably, it, like I said, it's probably just because I need to get the actual moisturizer that I need to get. My boyfriend still needs to get me my gift card for my birthday in order for me to go get it, so. Still waiting on that. Okay. Need a little bit more. I feel like I still need to build it up a little. All right, so now I'm gonna do my liner and my mascara and then we'll come back and finish off my face. Okay, now I'm just gonna coat my lashes with some mascara. My lash curler was not attaching to my lash, like latching, what do you call it? Catching my lashes, so I'm just gonna go in straight in with my Lancome Once You're Big mascara. Sorry, this is not really a chatty get ready with me. It's more so showing you the actual look. Also, I'm kind of getting really hungry, so trying to finish my makeup so I can eat because my stomach is growling. I need to finish it so I can eat. All right, now I already lined my waterline with my Maybelline Skinny Liner in black, and now I'm just going to coat my lower lashes with my MAC Extended Play. You guys love my nails still. I'm kind of like a little bit disappointed in this manicure because it keeps on chipping because, like I said, the girl who did my nails did not file them. She only just cut them a little bit, so they keep on like chipping and breaking so I'm like kind of annoyed about that so yeah but I really couldn't be bothered with going back and filling them in again I'm like I'm just gonna get them done again in a week anyway so it's not a big deal okay so that is it for the eyes and I really like how they turned out now I'm just going to brush away some of that um Mascara on the bottom. There we go. Okay. Now let me just grab my bronzer. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to go in with my, if I could hold it properly, my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, bronzer in the shade Rosewood. I kind of forgot which shade I was. And I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush and bronze up my skin. I love this bronzer. It kind of adds like a uh, warmth. I mean, obviously that's what bronzer is supposed to do, but it kind of contours at the same time because it's so pigmented. And I just love it. And I've been using it a little bit more often lately. It's my favorite, like, most pigmented bronzer for, like, full coverage looks. That's why I wanted to use it today. I hope that's not mascara in my crease. It is a little bit, but it's okay. It's not a huge deal. It's not too noticeable. I actually really like how the eyes turned out. They came out like kind of maleficent looking, and that's obviously what I wanted, so. Okay, so now we're going to jump into the more um, themed products for this video. So, of course, for my blush, I'm going to be using the Sleeping Beauty Besame Briar Rose palette and this is what it looks like I love it and I'm going to be using the two pink blushes in here for my blush so I'm going to be mixing these two together um, I did use these on Halloween as well because I think I told you guys that I was Aurora I'm sorry I didn't actually film that look for you guys but I don't really end up filming Halloween tutorials because I never end up having the time so I'm going to take those two and mix them together and apply them to my cheeks. I just tapped in both like once because these are really pigmented. I 
and they blend out really nice. So you honestly don't need too much of them. On uh, Halloween, I kind of went ham and I applied like so much. And take a little bit more of the lighter blush and just apply a little bit more of that. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. I really didn't realize how hungry I was until now. So I gotta eat dinner before I leave. Oh, I took like so much, but it's really okay. I want it to be like really pink anyway. Alright, and then for my highlights, I think you guys already know what I'm gonna use. I'm going to use my ColourPop Disney Villains Maleficent Highlighter in the shade Mistress of All Evil. This is one of my all-time favorite highlights ever. So I'm going to take that and apply it to my cheeks. Probably going to take a little bit with the brush first and then I'll apply it with my finger. I mean, my favorite way to apply this is with my finger. So I'm going to take a little bit and then buff that out. It's literally so stunning. Oh, love it. And I'm going to take it on this side. I don't know what I had on my actual brush. I don't know if it was, I don't know what it was. I think it was just bits of the highlight. I thought for a second it was like eyeshadow and I was kind of like getting worried. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my fingies. Do I like how that looks? Yeah, that's really intense. I just want to take a little bit more. Yeah, just like that. I'm going to connect it with above my brow bone. Alright, so I'm going to go off camera and eat, and then we'll finish up with my lip. All right, so I went ahead and, eat and ate, so now I'm going to do my lips. I already lined my lips to save some time. I used the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in the shade Never Petal Down, and I'm going to go in with my lip. I'm going to be using the ColourPop Disney Designer Collection Luxe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Prince Philip, obviously. This is the first time I'm using it on camera. And it's only the second time I'm actually using it. Um, I did use it for Halloween. And it's so pretty. Sorry. Um, and then I'm just going to re-dip into it again. It's such a beautiful shade. I loved how it wore on Halloween. It was so pretty. Okay, I'm just going to finish it up. Okay, and then for my lip gloss, I'm going to take a little bit of the Disney Villains ultra glossy lip in the shade my pet which is maleficent's shade and i'm just going to dab that just a little bit and i'm going to blend it out with my finger or i could just pout my lips too yeah i really like what that added on top I added like a really pretty hint of purple. Yeah, that's really pretty. All right, you guys, so let me just show you the final look. Here are the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. 
I really love this liquid lipstick. It feels so nice on the lips, honestly. It feels so lightweight and it feels really good with a gloss on top as well. As you guys know from my favorites video, I've been loving the shade Beast and I love this shade just as much. They're such a nice formula. I highly recommend them and I really love how the eyes turned out and the cheeks. Um, I just feel like the amethyst shade kind of transferred but it kind of made it kind of like a halo eye effect and it kind of turned out really really pretty. So I'm really glad I got to use the So Jaded palette again today. I actually just got back from seeing the movie because um, I didn't have time to record an outro um, before I left because I had to um, go vote. This is the primary for Republicans and Democrats so I had to go vote and then I had to go get gas before the movie so yeah but I didn't realize that the theater that I went to was so much closer to me so it only took me like 10 or 15 minutes and you guys know I love this blush I love this highlight I really love how this makeup turned out today it was really really pretty now I'm going to take it off um because I've had it on for a few hours so yeah that's it you guys I love you guys please like and subscribe I hope you guys enjoyed this video love you guys bye Oh, and also the movie was good. It wasn't like, oh my god, amazing. Like, I thought it was just as good as the first one. I don't think it was better than the first one, but it was good. Definitely the best um, Disney remakes that they've been doing. It's definitely way better than Lion King um, or even Aladdin. Even though Aladdin was better than Lion King, um, this movie was definitely better than both of them this year. So yeah, that's it. Bye.